good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new AEW action figure news coming at you, guys. Yesterday, Jeremy put up on his Instagram, his Twitter, all of his social media platforms, he put up there that we would get new AEW action figure reveals today. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, when he said that, I thought that it was just going to be official images of series number five. You guys know the series number five. We got Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, Frankie Kazarian, John Moxley, Scorpio Sky, and I can't even remember the last figure right off the top of my brain. Adam Hangman Page, that's it. That That's the last one in the set. But I thought for sure that would be the reveals, right? I, I figured that it would just be final ringside collectibles, you know, nice, really cool images of the figures. But that was not the case, guys. We actually have the full Series 6 revealed to us by Jeremy here today, and I'm pretty interested to get into it to you and, and just see what you guys think of the set. So let's go ahead and just dive right into it. So I don't have images of the figures. However, I do have the full list for you guys, and we're going to cover it right here so let's just go ahead and get started guys starting out first we have uh, a tweet from jeremy who put out these different videos of the talent reacting to their figures and getting the announcement of their figures so getting into it first he says congratulations to real jake hager for his first aew unrivaled action figure series six at jazzwares at aew at the mjf and at i am jericho so the first figure in the wave is going to be jake hager or jack swagger if you will in our inner circle so our inner circle continues to be filled out he's really the only only one that's missing from the original version of the inner circle i know a lot of people say wardlow and you know they they want to include him in the inner circle which you should you know in its new innovation but as far as its original creation the inner circle will now be complete with jack swagger aka jake hager and chris jericho and the rest of the inner circle right there i'm very interested to see what he comes with i wonder if it'll be like his debut gear where he was like you know where he was like in street clothes or will it be in his wrestling gear where he's shirtless and he's got like the you know the shorts and the wrestling boots on or the wrestling shoes on i wonder what attire it will be i'm guessing it'll be wrestling gear i don't think it would make sense for it not to be his wrestling gear but i'm pretty sure it'll be wrestling gear but jake hager is finally getting his figure you know he is the u.s champion on mdt live so i'm sure i could probably use it you know it may be something that we could use maybe i can mismatch some parts all of those things but jake hager is the first one in the set and that is pretty cool and the reason that i'm gonna leave this up on the screen guys is because the other two guys are also in this set now i feel like a long time ago remember when it was like leaked out on amazon we had all those different things going on that Chris Jericho and MJF were confirmed for series number six or at least it was leaked out that they were going to be in series six and it is true we have MJF and Jericho and Jake Hager so really three members of the inner circle all inside of this series now is it going to be an MJF in suit is it going to be one of his other gears that we haven't seen just yet you guys know that we got like the orangish red gear and we also got the pink gear for his chase variant is this going to be a suited MJF I think that would be really cool you guys know that we made a suited MJF in action figure appointment I do believe, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Maybe we'll get an official suited body there, and it'll be a suited body we can use for other guys, but also Chris Jericho. Now, that could be a number of attires, a number of looks for him, and we'll just have to see exactly what comes of it, but all three of these gentlemen are going to be in this Series 6 of AEW and Rival Collection. Now, I know a lot of people are already pooping on this set, man. They're like, my God, you got Jericho again and MJF again. They were just in Series 1 and 2. We already had the little bit of the bubbly Jericho. MJF had his Chase variant, so a lot of their figures are adding up very quickly, but again, they want to keep these bigger names in the series. That way, we can, you know, we, we can push out product and stuff like that, and a lot of people missed out on the Series 1 figures and uh, things like that, so I'm guessing that is why they are continuing to push out more talent and everything like that, but we'll get into that, guys. But moving on to the rest of the set. The next figure in the set is going to be Sheeta. We have Sheeta and we have another women's, you know, another women's figure coming back in Series 6 right here and a lot of people are probably going to want Nyla Rose they are going to want you know, a, a Britt Baker figure, but we know Britt Baker is coming. She's probably going to be in Series 1 of the Unmatched Series, so we do know we're going to be getting a Britt Baker, but for now, we have Sheeta. This was just a video of her, you know, reacting to getting a figure and everything like that, but that is cool to add another women's figure to the collection. We don't really have a lot, you know. We don't have a lot of women's figures, but hopefully with the Unmatched Series, we can get more in there. You guys know that I love Ryo Mizunami, who's going to be battling at Revolution for the AEW Women's Championship. I really, really want a figure of her. I would love to bring her into the MDT Women's Division when that gets up started so I would love to see her battle it out and you know go on a dominant reign like Oscar or something like that so if we could get her in the set or in a line I would absolutely adore that and if you guys don't know who that is definitely go check her out she's absolutely fan freaking fantastic but outside of Sheeta guys the last two in the set that we have is going to be Pentagon and Ray Phoenix so our second set of the Lucha Bros now again I know a lot of people are going to be upset about this and I I do understand it you know only two new talents in this wave we're getting four repeat figures Jericho MJF 
Ray Phoenix and Pentagon. However, I'm sure they'll be improved upon. There'll be repaints. You know, a lot of people, again, missed out on the Series 1 Jericho. A lot of people didn't get the little bit of the bubbly. A lot of people didn't get the Series 2 Lucha Bros. So I'm guessing that is exactly why they're pushing these guys out again. And, you know, they're going to get more people in here. This actually gives people a, a chance to breathe as well. Because once these unmatched figures come out, you're probably not going to want to fork out a new unmatched series for all the new talent that we're getting there. You know, and then also wanting to buy the people from the Unrivaled collection. So I'm guessing that um, on top of trying to move product in the stores and trying to get figures sold at stores of these big time name guys, they also are trying to, you know, help anybody that missed out on the, you know, missed out on these people the first go around, they can grab them again. And it helps out collectors that don't want to collect two or three Jerichos or two or three MJFs or four, you know, Lucha Brothers figures. They can, you know, they can rest their wallets and then invest in the Unmatched series or they can get in on some other characters they missed out on or something like that. So it's kind of a give and take, you know, you're just trying to battle it out and everything like that. But the full wave is as listed. AEW Unrivaled Series 6, Jake Hager, Chris Jericho, MJF, Sheeta, Phoenix, and Pinta. And that's all good with me. Uh, I can't wait to see exactly what all these guys look like. Again, I thought for sure today was just going to be AEW Unrivaled Collection Series number 5. Of Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy and Frankie Kazarian and John Moxley and Scorpio Sky and Adam Hangman Page. But that was not the case. I also don't know who the Chase variants are in this set. If I had to guess, it could be Phoenix and Penta, you know, have the tag teams be the Chase variants. It could be Jake Hager. Maybe he'll get a suited figure and a wrestling figure. It could be Jericho. It could be MJ. I don't know. I don't know who it could be, but I think that it would be cool to see any of these people get the Chase variant. We'll have to see how obtainable those are. Haven't seen one just yet. Don't plan to see one, you know, but yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'd like to eventually track down all the Chase variants, but I don't know how realistic that is, guys. But also, before we get out of here, my boy G Natty got up on his on his YouTube channel. He actually obtained the John Moxley and the Frankie Kazarian figures from series number five, and I wanted to put these this up to you guys, these images, so you guys could check it out for yourselves. So we have an image of the Frankie Kazarian. It looks like he's going to come with his jacket, his leather jacket. This is the worst town I've ever been in. He's got his hood there. It is a rubber jacket, whatever, you know. I'm sure it'll be easily removable, but probably not something that I will use unless I turn it into a vest. But Frankie Kazarian, you know, I, me and my brother always joke that he looks like Randy Orton. And he look, you know, this head sculpt kind of looks like Randy Orton. So I thought that was funny. But his trunks, it's it's the attire that I figured it'd be, the black and yellow. Uh, he doesn't have the accessories, so you can't see the, you know, the, the tag team championships or anything like that. Black wrist tape, pretty plain Jane figure for the Frankie Kazarian. But I mean, that's what Frankie Kazarian looks like. So I don't, I don't know what you were expecting, Bradley. But the Frankie Kazarian looks good. The head sculpt looks really good. I like the hair. I I like the jacket and the details and all that good stuff. It's got Kaz on the butt and everything, and we'll just have to see. Hopefully, they don't give him the pock lower legs with the no boot rotation, because I'm going to tear that up every single time I see it. Hopefully, that won't be the case there, but we will have to see and uh, get all that wheeling and dealing and ish once we get into it and everything, but that pretty much does it for the Full Wave 6 and the Frankie Kazarian. I wanted to get that up to you guys, because I know we hadn't seen that yet. We had, now, we've seen every figure except Scorpio Sky and Adam Hangman Page, so we'll just have to see, but go check out G Natty's, you know, video on that if you would like to check that out, guys. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Let's get into our random shout-out before we get out of here. And uh, I had to shout this comment out because it actually made me laugh out loud. And so the uh, so this top comment is going to go to Vlogs, who says, Osprey be looking like he belongs in a giraffe enclosure, Brad. And that ish made me laugh out loud. I had to even reply to that one because that, that, that ish had me dying. If you guys missed out on our video yesterday talking about the New Japan figures, Definitely go check those out. The Osprey was was not looking too good, Brad. He was kind of in a bad way, and uh, you better lock him up in the zoo, Brad, because uh, he be crossing lines. He be crossing lines hard, and uh, he was looking like a giraffe enclosure. He looked like he belonged in one for sure there, but sh huge shout-out to Vlogs for that. I was laughing my butt off, but let me know what you guys think of Series 6. Again, lots of repeats. However, I am excited to see what they look like, and I'm just awaiting Series 5 to get in here. I did pre-order a set, and I think I have an extra set, so... Uh, hopefully I can get the reviews in there. Maybe we can see some customs and stuff. But I'm shutting the hell up, getting the hell out of here. And uh, don't cross the line because you'll end up like... Y y if, you if you cross the line, Brad, you end up in a giraffe enclosure, Brad. You cross the line, I've been beaten, boo!